Wow, amazing. It's woo, pigmented. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video is finally going to be a rare beauty foundation and concealer video. Which is like I hauled this like two months ago, but I just couldn't find this perfect shade. So, you know, like I've been trying to think like I should I order more shades or not. Anyway, so today's video is gonna be a little quick review on the Rare Beauty Foundation and the Rare Beauty Concealer. I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys. If you guys are interested in today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. I would really, really appreciate that. Without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, let's do a little shade comparison. This is the 130N. This is 150C. This is my normal go-to Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. And this is the Maybelline Dream Set and Skin. I feel like these two kind of just like match me so much better than these. Anyways, I just kind of feel like it's hard for me to find like a perfect shade in this range. Okay, so this is the 130N foundation. And this is the 130N concealer. And this is 170W concealer. This is my usual Pamagraph. L3. So yeah, if you really want to see like what the 130N foundation and concealer looks like, that is what they look like. I feel like the concealer is a little more cool tone than the um, foundation. And it's just a little more pink than 130N. And then when you jump to 170C, that's just very a little olive. There's definitely a little green in this. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to just swatch it on the skin for you so you guys can see. This is in the shade 130N. And I feel like 130, I feel like 130N is a little pale. You know, I wish there is a shade darker that's like, like this color, but a little darker. So that is 130N. And I'm going to swatch for you 150C because they don't have 150 neutral. I wish they come out and fill in the gap of the neutral tones because once you jump into and then it become 150C. So it's a little more cool tone. What do you guys think? I feel like this color match me better than this because this is just a little pale, huh? Yeah, I just wish that they could have maybe do this color but darker. So the concealer today, I also got two shades because I just couldn't decide. Got a shade a little darker. This is the 170W. But you know, when they jump to 170W, it is an olive undertone. So I also do feel like this shade is a little odd. And this is the 130N, which is quite pale. So yeah, let's go into prime and put on some foundation first. I think for the primer today, I'm just gonna use their primer. This is the Rare Beauty. Um, always Optimus Pore Diffusing Primer. I'm just gonna go into this one. Let's go into 150C. Um, I think this match me better. So I'm not gonna do too much because I do feel like I tried it out yesterday. I tr actually tried this out a couple of times. I'm gonna use my finger and kind of like because I feel like this type of a little bit of a oil base kind of a foundation. I'll just use my finger to kind of rub it in. I feel like the first couple times I tried it, I didn't, I didn't like fall in love right away, and I totally forgot about it. And today is the last day to decide if I want to keep it or return it. All right, so on this side, I'm just gonna use a sponge and kind of pat things out. Alright, I need to go in with some more. If you use a sponge, you kind of need a 
a few more. All right, I put some more on the forehead and I'm kind of just going to like kind of pat things out. All right, I don't think I should build it up too, too much because I feel like once you kind of build this up to like a second layer, it gets kind of uh, thick and it kind of floats on top of my pores and stuff. But I just want to quickly zoom you guys in on the nose so you guys can see. I feel like it kind of did not eat up. Foundation is not mashing super well with the nose. And also like this area kind of has like a little floaties. Floats around a little bit. Yeah, it's one of those like don't hate, don't love situation, right? Just like nothing that's like, wow, amazing. It's not super dewy, it's more like a natural finish. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into the concealer now so you guys can kind of see. 170W. I just wanna show you the color. Let me show you the color at the back of my hand. I feel like this color is just like a little weird and there's a little olive undertone in it. So that's 170W, which I feel like is a little kind of odd. And this is the shade 130N. What I want to do is probably mix the two then. I'm going to mix the two. So this is 130N. And we'll blend this out really quickly. This is a dry sponge still. Oh, actually, I did have... Okay, I'm just gonna go into their brush. This is their Rare Beauty Concealer Brush, I think. I'm just gonna use the brush to that, kind of lightly tap things in. I like 130M better because I feel like 170W kind of make my under eye look a little weird. I just feel like that undertone is not really me. So that is the concealer. Maybe we'll use 170W on the rest of the face so you guys can kind of see. Let's do that here. Bring a little bit of the uh, concealer on the nose to see if I can cover things up and stuff. All right, so this is the skin. Actually, it's not terrible. It's not. Bad. I wouldn't say it's bad. Just like don't build it up too much. I feel like once you build it up, it can give you like a little mask effect, and in some areas it can be a little thick. So the point is not to use too too much. Let me look up close. But I still just think like the nose. The nose is not like eating it up not as well as I would like. You know, it doesn't like sink into the skin that well. Here's the pores. It's okay. I'm gonna show you my problem area, which is this area these days. The tiny bumps.
Okay guys, I am gonna go off and kind of just put the rest of my face on and I shall be back and let you guys know my final thoughts on the foundation and concealer. I mean, I feel like it's fine. It's all right. It's not like love at first sight. I've used it a couple times and I totally forgot about it until like two months later. I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta make a video. You know, it's that type of a vibe. So yeah, let me just like put on some bronzer and stuff. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so yeah, this is the face for today. I just throw something on really quickly for the blush. I use the Rare Beauty Dewy Blush in the shade Joy. I don't know, I just for some reason I don't reach for this enough for me to be like, I'm in love with this. I mean, I like it, but I'm just like, sometimes it's a little hard to control because it is, woo, pigmented very potent you only need a tiny little dot for both cheeks and for the bronzer i am currently testing out I'm still testing out the wen goss bronzer how crazy is that it's been months i just don't know how i feel about the wen goss bronzer and i test out the new nabla bronzer this i kind of like I'm not sure but so far i do kind of like it oh yeah for the eyeshadow, I just quickly throw on something from the Cabana Club um, eyeshadow palette. Powder, I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. So that is quickly what I throw on on the face. And I do want to zoom you guys closer and just show you guys everything. I just feel like the overall consensus for me when it comes to the foundation and concealer, I just feel like it could have been better. It's not like it's bad but i just like i feel like it could have been better comparing to the stuff i've been loving i just feel like it could have been i could have been better just let me zoom you guys closer so you guys can see everything i feel like the concealer kind of started to crease already and i think i'm okay with the concealer it's okay and I feel like, yeah, I could have covered a little more, but yeah, I could have have a little tiny more coverage. I probably can build it up, but I just don't want to overbuild it. And I'll show you guys the forehead. Yeah, overall, I just feel like it's okay. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. But, you know, if it's laying around, I, I probably won't grab it first. It's not just something that I think about. I forgot about it for two months. You know, I just like, I have to make a video and decide. And yeah, I just have made up my mind. I'm okay with it. I'm not like thrilled to use this again. So yeah, I just like, it's okay. The shades are a little off for me. So I definitely feel like... Like there's some shades missing in between so yeah overall i think it's fine it's all right let me know your thoughts down in the comments if you love the foundation or you love the concealer i think they're both just okay for me like a six you know i can use it i like it but i just like i don't reach for it enough and i kind of forgot about it you know it's that type of thing it's not bad don't hate, don't love type of a situation. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts on the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer. If you have any issue with the shades, because like, it took me a while to find these shades and they're not super duper perfect. But anyways, I really hope that you guys find this video helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.